Hi guys, James here. Welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, I'm doing something a little different. I am filming with the camera facing all my eyeshadow palettes, or most of my eyeshadow palettes, and I want to do a declutter video. So I thought this is probably the best way for me to do it. I can show you the palettes that I'm going to talk about. Um, but yeah, I want to go through a lot of these palettes um, and I wanted to get rid of a few of the ones I haven't used for a while. I'll quickly talk about some of my favorites. Um, I might do a couple swatches. I just don't want this video to be too long. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So as you can see, I've got a whole mixture of different eyeshadow palettes. I've got some Morphe ones. I had done a Morphe declutter video, so um, I'm not gonna go really into the Morphe ones. I've actually kept the ones that I've already done aside, but some of these I haven't talked about. Um, I forgot I had them. Then I've got some um, Jeffree Star and Laura Lee and Manny MUA and all those types of um, influencer brands. I've got Pure X Raw Beauty palette. I've also got some Beauty Bay ones, the Nikki Tutorial ones. I've got some Jeffree Star palettes. So yeah, let's get straight into the videos. So I'm just going to randomly um, pick them. I'm not going to go by brand because they're just all mixed up in here. So guys, let's talk about this one. This is the Pure X Raw Beauty Christie palette. Now it comes with two sides. So you've got a colorful side. All of these are mattes um, and you've got one shimmer in the middle, which is this one here. And then guys, you've got this one here, which is more of the everyday um, type of toned palette. And then again, guys, this one does come with one shimmer. I really like this palette. Um, it does only have a six months expiry date, which is kind of short for an eyeshadow or a color palette. Um, most of mine are either 12 months or 24 months. So I was kind of surprised about that. Um, it is vegan and cruelty free. I'm going to keep this one. I love the um, packaging. All of these are hand drawn by Christy herself. Um, yeah, I really like this one. I actually missed out on the first launch. There was, it was, it was the palette that broke the internet. Some people waited over eight hours in the checkout line. I was like, no, not for me. Um, but I did get it on the restock. So I'm really happy about this. The next palette is the At Forest Site, which is the Raw Beauty Christy X ColourPop collaboration. Same year and two collaborations which is amazing i love this palette i was lucky enough to get the full collection with the super shock eyeshadows the um eyeliners and some of the lip glosses but yeah this palette is stunning now you only get two shimmers and then you get this one here which is like a matte and a shimmer it's a black and it's got like gold reflex shimmer in it i love this palette and the packaging mushrooms i love mushrooms i think this packaging is Dying. like I'm really happy now I think they do have this still on the um, Colourpop's website it is $20 which is a pretty good um, value I mean a nine pan eyeshadow palette is $12 and for $20 you get three more eyeshadows plus it is a collaboration with an influencer so both parties need to make some money but I think that's still very affordable love this palette definitely gonna keep this one all right the next one is this one here I got from Kmart it is a limited edition cosm cosmetic um, eyeshadow palette. I picked it up because it was like five dollars. It was Christmas time. I haven't even used it. I haven't taken off the plastic sleeve. Also, guys, before I continue, um, if there's a mirror or plastic sleeve and that reflects back on the camera, I apologize for that. I can't see um what you see. Um, so I'm just shooting this and hope everything's in focus. But yeah, this palette I haven't tried. It's five dollars. I mean, I'll try it. I'll get it eventually. Maybe I'll do a full face of Kmart makeup or something like that. But yeah, I got this like before Christmas. Two weeks before Christmas, so just pop that in my bag. So I'll keep that on. The next one is this one here from Morphe. Now, the reason I got this palette, I don't like glitters. I don't like glitters in any of my eyeshadow palettes, but I really like these um, shades here. Now, I didn't realize that these were not mattes. I thought these were all mattes. I didn't realize they were shimmers. So I can't really do a full look using this palette because the shimmers don't really blend out that well. They apply really nicely with a finger but they don't really blend out that well with a brush. Um, so I can't really apply that. And then this whole row of glitters was a waste for me. So I'm gonna declutter this because I'm not going to use this, I don't think. Yeah, I'm gonna declutter it, get rid of that. I'm not gonna use it anytime soon. Next palette is this one here from um, Urban Decay. Now I actually bought this from Mecca Max. It was at their like, at the checkout where you know, you just quickly pop something into your basket when you're waiting in line and this, this formula is stunning. Like it's only shimmers, but these are so finely milled. Like, look at that, so pretty. I've had this for over a year and I think it's a stunning, like it's just an eyeshadow papa. It's just, these shimmers are basically just to pop um, in the inner corner of the eye or over a matte eyeshadow, like as a topper. I think it's a stunning formula and I love the packaging. I think this is like 
$30, which is still kind of expensive for six um, shades, but I love this palette. I'm gonna keep it because I, I love putting it in the inner corner of my eye. All right, so the next palette is this one here from Jeffree Star. Now, this is the mini jawbreaker palette. This was actually one of the very first palettes I got from Jeffree Star. I did a like Jeffree Star haul and I didn't manage to get the big jawbreaker at the time. And then I got the full size jawbreaker later on. I think by memory, I mean, this is over two years old. Um, I don't know about this palette. It just, the, I was so excited and I think you get a huge amount of product for your money. I think this is like $25 US from the top of my memory, but I think it's a really pigmented palette, but the color story just, I find it hard to work with. So I'm gonna declutter this because I haven't used this over a year and a half. So I'm gonna declutter that. All right, let's talk about this Jawbreaker palette. Now, I really like this palette. As you can see, very pigmented. This shade here is probably the one I've used the most, which is Cotton Candy. The only problems I find with these shimmers is when I try and blend out the edges with a matte, ton of fallout, like a ton of constant fallout. Um, they do apply really nicely with a finger, but that's it. You cannot touch them with a brush after because it will just knock off all the shimmer all over your face and it's just, oh, it's a hassle. I haven't used this palette in forever. I mean, this yellow is stunning, but it's probably very dry. Oh, it's still quite pigmented. Yeah, you can see it's quite dry. Um, I haven't used this in almost a year, in a year and a bit. I mean, let's try some of these shimmers. Well, they're still quite bu buttery. That's quite nice, it's quite nice. Let me do, we'll do, let, let me do this pink. It's gonna go all over the place, but I mean, look at that pink. I think actually I wanna keep that pink just out of this palette. What I might do is I might actually keep this palette and depot some of these um, shades and put them in an empty palette that I have and kind of make my um, go-to palette myself using all these different shades from different palettes. That's what I'll do, I'll keep this palette. Oh, that was loud. Um, right, I don't know how I got all this black stuff on my hand, but anyway. The next palette is this Kimchi Chic Mango Tango. It's a nine pan eyeshadow palette. Now this is all matte and it retails for $14 normally US, but I got this for half price for seven and I got a few others as well at the same time. I love this palette. The pigment in these um, shades are stunning. As you can see, it's very pigmented, very bright, which is, everything that I love. Um, so I'm gonna keep this one. It's not that old either. Um, then we've got, then the next palette is this one here from Fenty Beauty. I have not actually tried this palette, as you can see it's still in this packaging. Um, that's what the shades are. It's a pastel palette. I only have one other pastel palette. I just find these very hard to open, but there it is. It's, it's cute. I'm gonna keep it because I haven't used it. Um, we'll throw that box out because I don't need the box. Next palette is this one here from Beauty Bay. It's a pastel palette and I just recently did a look with it. I really like um, the shades in this palette. The only problem is they do kind of blend away to nothing. So I had to pack them on each time and just not really blend too much. Every time I try to blend the shades together, they would just disappear. So I'd really have to blend out and then pack on the shade again. Um, I like this palette and I did one of my favorite looks with it, which I'll put up on screen as we talk about this. I'm definitely gonna keep this. This was on sale for like $10. I think it normally retails for $15 US, but I got it for $10 and that's why I got um, this palette and a whole lot of my other Beauty Bay palettes. And I also have another Beauty Bay haul coming. But yeah, I'm gonna keep this one because I haven't had it that long. All right, the next palette is this one here. Now, I haven't used this one. It's a brand new one. I just did a unboxing of Juno and Co's Mystery Box, which is on my channel. I will link that down below if you wanna watch it. I cannot open this. Um, I have no nails. All right, sorry about that, guys. I had to get some tweezers so I can open this up. Um, but yeah, this is the palette and what it looks like. These retail for $10 normally, um, but I did get it in the mystery box. I'm just gonna throw that away. But this is what the packaging looks like. Very, very pretty. Oh God, I can't even open these. All right. This is what the palette looks like. I mean, for $10, I think it's a stunning palette. I think, I think it's well worth the money. Um, and you do get one shimmer, two mattes and a glitter, which I think is stunning. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of glitter, but I really wanna try this one because it's just so pretty. Um, yeah, so that palette I'm going to keep. I've had it for probably a month. I haven't used it yet, but I will. All right, the next palette is this one here. It's from Stila. Stunning packaging, as you can see. Stunning. Sorry about the mirror. As you can see, there are two mattes and the rest are shimmers. 
I love the mattes, they blend out amazingly. I do find the shimmers very, very chunky. I haven't used this palette in a long time. I'm gonna declutter it. Um, yeah, I haven't used it in a long time. And I may as well show this Stiller one. I actually got this for Christmas almost a year and a, maybe two years ago. I think maybe two years ago, my sister got this um, for me and I love it. She actually has this. And when I saw it in her bathroom, I'm like, oh my God, I need to have it. So I love this palette and I really need to use it again. So I'm going to keep it because I think the packaging is stunning and the formula is stunning. Like this shade here, stunning. I don't know what it's called. I think it's called Last Round. All the shade names are on the back and not in the palette, which is kind of annoying, but yeah, I'm going to keep that one. I love that palette. Next palette is from Morphe. It's the Coca-Cola palette. I don't know about this palette. I really don't. I might I might keep it because I haven't used it much. It's not my favorite color, but I am interested in using that shade. So yeah, let, I'll keep that one. I'll keep that one. All right, next palette is this one here from BYS Cosmetics. I actually just got this for my birthday from a friend from Josh and Yenny. Um, so I'm definitely going to be using this and keeping it. I've actually used quite a few of these palettes and I really like them. I haven't had this one before. I do have another BYS Cosmetics down here, which I'll show you. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to use this palette. All right, guys, sorry. I just wanted to take the plastic off so there's not too much glare and so you could see the actual shades. These two shades are really calling my name and this one here. I love their shimmer formula, but I also love their matte. I love these palettes. I, I just love them. Um, yeah, this is the unicorn one and I can't wait to play with that one. The next palette is from Too Faced. It is the Born This Way, the Neutral Nudes. The Natural Nudes? Natural? Neutral? Natural um, Nudes. I think the layout of this palette is so, so pretty, stunning. This is my first ever eyeshadow palette from Too Faced. Now the mattes blended out amazingly. I did do a makeup tutorial with this palette. I will link that down below. Um, the shimmers didn't really work too well for me. So I had to use another palette, which was the um, ColourPop Coconuts, Going Coconuts palette to complete the look with the shimmers. This shimmer here I tried and that shade is Glistening Snow. It was just very chunky and it didn't perform the way I wanted it. Um, it's it's pretty. Let me do a quick swatch. It's pretty, but it's not that pigmented compared to the um, shimmer from Colourpop. But I think the mattes are really pretty and I will do an unmakeup tutorial with it. I just think the mattes blended out amazingly. Now this retailed for $72, I'm pretty sure, um, Australian. So it's quite an expensive palette when only half the shades work for me. But I will try this palette uh, one more time. Stunning palette. Layout of that palette is stunning. All right, the next palette is this one's here from, um, oh God, what's it called? Uh, Pat McGrath. Now, these normally retail for $45, but these were 50% off on her website. I did have to wait about five weeks to get it. And I got this in a couple of her lipsticks. I think these shimmers, these are all shimmers are stunning. These two are amazing. I did use the blue as well. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep this one because it's, it's expensive. And then guys, we've got these two nine pan palettes from Kimchi. Again, I got these for half price, $7, normally um, 14 US. This is stunning. I love this palette so much. I love these two shimmers. They're so pretty. Blue velvet and raspberry velvet. Let me do a blue swatch because I haven't done one on the back of my hand. But I think it's just really, really pretty. Now, this reminds me of um, the blue out of Life's a Drag Many Anyways palette, which I'll show you in a second. But it's like a satin blue. I think it's stunning. Stunning. Definitely going to keep that palette. Put that with the other one. And then we've got this kimchi virgin mojito palette now i did do a makeup tutorial with it it was quite a long video i will i will link that down below but it is a long video just so you know um but these shimmers are stunning um let me swatch this one here that is in the shade mint chip again stunning stunning green i love this palette so much i'm gonna keep that oh now this one here is the pat mcgrath palette now this is my most expensive palette ever and i can't open it is it that way? Oh, it's this one. Um, this packaging is stunning, but it's a very expensive palette. I think this is $215 Australian. I did get this um, when it was 30, 20, 30% off, something like that, off the Sephora website. Now, you do get all the shade names on this card, so you do kind of need that because they don't have it on the back of the palette, as you can see, or inside the palette. But this is what the palette looks like. I love the packaging of this palette. Oh. Oh, the mirror is moving. Guys, this is what the palette looks like. Let me just put that so you can't see yourself. Um, it's a stunning palette. You get a lot of product for your money. And these duochromes, like, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's stunning. I don't know. 
it's it's a beautiful palette i've had this for over a year now i'm gonna definitely keep this one because i'm not throwing away 200 and something dollars worth of makeup in one palette not today not tomorrow just never i'm gonna keep that for a long time all right the next palette is this one here from morphe this is the morphe x many mua glam palette now this retails for 30 dollars uh, australian 15 dollars us i actually got this for half price for 15 dollars australian a while ago and it's a stunning palette as you can see i've used it quite a bit it's had a lot of love um this palette is great for an everyday look like i can do a look in 10 minutes both eyes with this palette and then you get these stunning stunning highlighters you've got apollo and then you've got nova stunning highlighters it's a little dry because it's a bit old this palette but i think it's a beautiful beautiful palette uh let me do that a bit better oh no that's the same Oh, wrong colour. Anyway, you know what I mean. It's a stunning palette. It's it's beautiful. So I'm definitely going to keep this. I love Manny MUA and I love all his palettes. And then, guys, we've got his other palette. So this is the Laffer Drag palette. Now, it does come with a brush. This is his first This is his first ever eyeshadow palette. He was inspired by drag makeup. That's, what, that's how he started doing makeup. Um, so you've got the neutral everyday um, look. This cake face shade, the white, is stunning. And then you get these two shimmers. Now, you only get two shimmers, but you do get a satin blue. And this was the blue I was talking about. So let me swatch that next to this one here. And I think it's just a stunning blue. Look how pigmented that is, guys. But they look very similar from the kimchi and the um, Mani MUA one. But yeah, I love that palette. And I'm definitely going to keep that one. The next one is from the next one is another Mani MUA Lunar Beauty palette. Now, this was the first palette I ever got from his brand. It's the Strawberry Dream palette. Can we just talk about the packaging? Like, this is actually raised. I don't know if you can see that, but it's holographic and it's a raised moon. And this um, palette was inspired by, like, the red moon. Um, so, yeah, it's a beautiful palette and it smells like strawberry, which is, oh, amazing. This shade here, Blue Diamond, as you can see, I've used it the most. It's it's very, very softly pressed, so you have to be very careful with it. Um, but it's got, it's just one of the best blue duochrome shimmers. I mean, it's stunning. Let me do a swatch here. It's just a great, um, in the inner corner or on top of an eyeshadow as a um, topper. I think it's a beautiful. I wished, I wish he would release this um, as a single shadow because I would buy two or three of those. It's just, it's stunning. And then his other shades are amazing. All of these, all this row up here is all the shimmers and the rest are all mattes. Um, this one here is a shimmer as well, I think, actually. Yeah, that's a shimmer as well. Let me just swatch that. It's a stunning duochrome as well. This palette is everything. And then, guys, we've got the um, Greek Goddess palette from Luna Beauty. Now, this is a matte cardboard, so you can't really keep it clean. As you can see, it's quite dirty, um, but I love his packaging. And then you've got, like, a very neutral palette. Um, I love this formula. If I wore makeup to work every day, I would use this palette every day to do a very quick look because you can do a look within 10 minutes, both eyes. Um, stunning palette. Love it. Definitely going to keep that. And then, guys, we've got the last Luna Beauty palette. Now, this is his latest one. This came out the end of last year um, as the holiday collection, and it is like the brother to the Strawberry Dream palette. As you can see, it's got a black, dark, holographic moon, um, and this is what it looks like. Now, I did just do a look with this palette. I didn't film it, but I did a look. I will put that up on screen. This, this shade here, Adamantium, is amazing. It's like the best silver shade I've ever tried. This blue is stunning as well, and I really like this black as well. It does have like rainbow shimmer um, throughout it. It's stunning. This palette is everything. I can't wait to do more looks with it. Love this palette. Definitely keeping that. Next palette is this one here from Urban Decay. Now, I have not really used this palette. I bought it. It was like $80. It was expensive. This is the Cherry palette. Um... <laughs> It was a waste of money. I don't know why I bought it. I haven't even, like, as you can see, I haven't even used the brush in this palette. I haven't even dirtied that. I mean, the brush is really nice. I will add this to my collection. I don't know if I'm going to use this palette. I think because I've spent $80, I can't throw it away without using it. Trying the formula out because I can't just throw away $80. So I'm going to keep that one. I'll keep that. The next palette is this one here from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the collaboration with um, Carly Bible. Now, I don't follow her on YouTube, um, but I just got this because I love the packaging and a lot of people raved about it. This is what it looks like inside. It did, it did come with a brush, which I don't even know if I've got anymore. 
um, ton of fallout in the shimmers. I've only used this once and I was not impressed at all. I really wasn't impressed. Um, yeah, these three, one, two, and three, they just have a ton of fallout and they just, they didn't, they just didn't apply very nicely with my finger or a packing brush with setting of spray. Just didn't work for me. So I'm going to throw this palette out. I got this on sale, so I don't feel too bad throwing it out. The next palette is the first ever eyeshadow palette I ever bought. This is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And I've had this for close to three years now. Like, it's an old, old palette. I just, I have a lot of sentimental value to this palette just because it was my first eyeshadow palette and it cost me a lot, like $70, $80, something like that. Um, you do get a ton of shades in it. Now this palette, this palette isn't as vibrant as what I like, um, but I do like the shades. This shade here, Big Sky, is stunning. Um, I think it's time to let this go because all the mattes are dry. They are so dry. The shimmers are okay, but the, the mattes are very dry. And I don't use it. I just, I prefer bright colors. So I'm going to declutter this one, even though it's it's a stunning palette and I have a lot of sentimental um, value to it. I just think, I haven't used it in the last two years. I've got to get rid of it. All right, guys. Oh my God, I need a drink. Sorry, one second. Oh, let me catch my breath. All right, so the next palette is this one here from Kim Chi. Now, this was my very first Kim Chi palette and stunning. So as you can see, guys, you get a lot of mattes in this palette. Very big size pans as well, which is great. This is a very affordable palette. I can't remember how much it is, but I know I got this for 30% off. Now, guys, these two shades are my favorite, watermelon and blueberry. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful shade. This shade here actually reminds me of one of the shades in the Nikki Tutorial palette. I'll show you that in a second. But yeah, it's a beautiful palette. I'm going to keep that. Now, this palette is a matte cardboard, so it is kind of hard to keep clean. But I, yeah, I really like this palette, so I'm going to keep that one. All right, almost there. I think about halfway. God, I haven't actually thrown very many out. I got to do a bit better. All right, so the next ones are from Laura Lee Los Angeles, which is Laura Lee's brand. Now, I got these as a bundle. I can't remember how much. Um, I got these at the start of last year when the pandemic hit. Um, so it actually took me three and a half months to get to my house. But yeah, this is a beautiful palette. I haven't used it very often. It's like a very neutral palette. It has three shimmers and then it's got three um, mattes as well. And this one here is the Boss Babe one. I really like this one. I did I did find it was very interesting. This one has a 24 months expiry date. And then this one here and this one here. This has got a 12 months one, which is the um, Sleigh Bell one. And this party animal has a 12 months expiry date. So I don't know why this is 24 and the other two are 12. But yeah, I just thought that was interesting. Now, the Slave Bell one I actually used um, in a makeup tutorial um, with the Nudie Patootie. So I used these palettes to do a look. I'll link that video down below as well. Um, but yes, yeah, stunning. This this pink. Oh, oh, stunning. Look at it. Pretty. I really like her formula. Let's swatch this green. Oh, stunning. Stunning. And it's got like, and it's a duochrome. So it goes from um, black to green. I oh, love that palette love these palettes i'm going to keep these two now the party animal one um it's a matte cardboard so again hard to keep clean actually when i did try to use this i found it very very hard for me to um use the shimmers so i'm going to declutter this because even the blues i've got in other palettes that work better for me i i don't see myself reaching for this one anytime soon so i'm going to declutter this palette um, then we've got the nudie patootie from laura lee los angeles Oh, can we just talk about how pretty this palette is? Stunning! I love this palette so much. I'm definitely going to keep it. I think these mattes just, they work amazingly. I think this retails for about $45 US. And I did get it as a bundle, so it was a lot less. I actually got three small eyeshadow palettes. This palette, the two highlighter palettes, and then a, a trio of liquid lipsticks for about $120 US which is amazing because they'd normally retail for like over $160. But yeah, this palette is stunning. I'm going to keep that palette and put that to the side. All right, the next palette is this one here from BYS Cosmetics. I bought this from Kmart and I love the mattes. I've used all of these shades in my Halloween zombie fire tuck look and I think this palette is stunning. 
um, yeah, I, I love this palette. It's only like $10 um, and you do get very small pans, but I think it's well worth the money. So I'm going to keep that one because I love the greys. They blend it out. Amazing. Amazing. Got to keep that. Next palette. I actually thought I did clutter this. I don't know why I still have it. I'm, I'm definitely going to throw it away, but I haven't used it. Now the shimmers do work really nicely, but the mattes are horrible, horrible, horrible. Never buy another um, eyeshadow palette from Mac and Max. That was just a huge letdown for me. Next palette is this one here, which is from Makeup Revolution, London. Oh, can I open it? Oh, uh, this palette is stunning. I actually got this for free in their rewards, like sister program. So every three months you get like a mystery box you open um, and it's full of everything. And I was very surprised that they actually had a full size eyeshadow palette in it. Now this is a stunning palette, I haven't used it, but I mean, it's so pretty. I definitely have to use this. I, I think it's just pretty. All of these shimmers are stunning. I love the color story, it just works really well. So I'm gonna keep that one definitely. Um, I should put that there because I'm running out of room. Let's stay there. Then guys, we've got these two palettes from Huda Beauty. I've actually only used this nude one once. I'm actually giving this to a friend because she wanted to try the formula and she's all about nudes. And she was actually asking me a couple weeks ago about the formula because she saw that they were on sale. And I said, hey, let me just give you this palette because I've only used it once and I just thought, I'm not going to use it. You can try out the formula. If you don't like it, throw it in the bin. But yeah, at least then you can save yourself because this palette retails for $100 Australian. So it's an expensive palette. Um, so I'm going to put that aside to give to her. I keep forgetting to give it to her. This palette here, on the other hand, retails for $115. Stunning. Now, I actually wanted to get this palette first. Um, let me just... So I'm just going to put the palette over the mirror so it doesn't um, glare back at you. But I actually wanted to get this palette first over this one, but this one was sold out and Sephora was having a sale. So I just thought I'll grab this one. I just, I just think this palette is stunning. Color story is amazing. The shimmers work really nicely. I, I think this palette is really pretty. I think the mattes blend out amazingly and these shimmers are everything. Definitely keeping that palette. Put this to the side to keep and then put this one and then I'm gonna put this one aside for my friend Amanda. All right, we're getting there guys. The next palette is this one here. I just got this one in my Lumi box. Um, it's a monthly subscription. I got this in the premium box. Um, I actually have a discount code with them, which gives you 10% off um, your first box. I'll link that down below. It's just James Beauty 10, all in caps. Um, but yeah, this palette is stunning. I just recently did a look with this palette um, and I really love the formula. The mattes blend out amazingly. This palette retails for $63, $64, I think. So it's up there price-wise, but you do get 20 shades and all of them are stunning. The mattes blended out really nicely. I use the pinks, purples, and blues in the look that I created. I'll put that up on screen, but yeah, this palette I'm definitely keeping because I just received it last week. The next palettes are from Beauty Bay. Now, I haven't used this palette. This is the Sunset Horizons palette. 20 shades in this palette. Stunning light. Look at that. Look at this shade in particular. That's just a beautiful cranberry shade. I love the color story of this palette. I just haven't got around to using it. I got this for half price um, for like $15 or something like that. It was crazy cheap, so that's why I got it. Um, and I'm definitely going to be using that. And then, guys, I got this palette at the same time as I got the other palette. Now, this is Beauty Bay's um, holiday palette. I did do a makeup tutorial with this. I will link that down below. This palette is so pretty. I really like it. And the shimmers in this palette just worked really, really nicely. I think Beauty Bay shimmers is probably one of the best shimmer formulas out there besides ColourPop, Super Shock eyeshadows, and many Amy ways. But yeah, this, this palette is stunning. These three shades I used in the makeup tutorial, and I, I love this palette. And this palette was really, really cheap as well. Um, so it's well worth the money. If you haven't checked out Beauty Bay, really check them out. They do a lot of, um, they always have sales on their website and their shipping is really fast. Like it takes less than two weeks to get to me, which is amazing because a lot of brands, AK, Jeffree Star, Colourpop, take about five or six weeks to get to me. All right, so the next palette is from Beauty Bay and this is the Nikki Tutorials X Beauty Bay collaboration. Stunning. I'm so happy I actually got this palette. I thought it would sell out so quickly and it did, but I managed to get it. Um, I just love this palette. And Nikki Tutorial did look at my post when I posted it on my Instagram. She didn't like it, but she did look at it in my Instagram stories. I saw her and I was like, oh my God, she saw my, um, she actually saw my um, look that I created. I thought it was stunning, but she didn't want to give me a love heart. Anyway, 
This palette is really pretty. Um, these two shimmers are stunning. Now that was the blue that I was talking about that was similar to the kimchi blue. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful palette. I'm definitely gonna keep this one. All right, guys, so we are almost there. Let's talk Jeffree Star. So this is the Blue Blood palette. First of all, packaging is 10 out of 10. This is what the palette looks like. Um, now, some of the shimmers, these two shimmers are really, really nice, but a ton of fallout, just like the um, pink shimmer from the Jawbreaker palette, ton of fallout, so it can ruin the face. You can't really blend it out once you've applied it, which is annoying because I like to blend out the mattes and the shimmers together, so it looks very seamless, but it's very hard to do that without knocking the product all over your face. Even once you've brushed it away and then you apply your base after your eyes, you still get fallout on your cheeks during the day because it just the shimmers just crease and fall off all over your face. But I love the mattes, the mattes blend out really pretty. I haven't used this palette enough. I need to use this palette, so I'm gonna keep this palette because I haven't used it enough to justify me throwing it away. Now, the next one is the Blood Sugar palette. Now, as you can see, I've used and reused this palette. Now, I use these two shades plus this one in the Zombie, um, in the Zombie Fry Tuck look as well. I did my base with Jeffree Star's Liquid Lipstick um, Unicorn Blood with a beauty sponge. Then I used the blacks in the BYS Cosmetic Palette and these reds to get the bruising effect. Um, but yeah, I've kind of messed these two shades up. I had to clean them off. But I like this palette. I'm going to keep it. All right, guys, we are almost there. I keep saying that. These palettes here are from Kaleidos. I actually thought I had another one, but I can't find that one. So guys, this is what the palette looks like. And I've got to say the packaging is stunning. Like stunning, you get these like pearl, per, you get these like pearless drops on here, which is um, gray, so you can feel the texture of that. I, I think this palette is stunning. I got all of these in the Black Friday sales. This palette is stunning. Look at the shades. I love these palettes. I love Kaleidos' formula. The shimmers work really nicely and the formula. Everything about Kaleidos that I've tried, I've tried their face palette, um, their eyeshadows, their highlighters stunning so i'm definitely going to buy more and i do have the latest palette coming which was a collaboration with a fellow youtuber then guys we've got this little lavender one which i just shot a makeup tutorial with yesterday i don't know if i like that video I might not actually upload that one but i did post this look on my instagram this shade here is very very softly pressed over this one this one's not as soft but this one's very soft as you can see i've kind of like mucked it up quite a bit um but the shade works really nicely it's a beautiful beautiful shade and shimmer i love these palettes oh let me do that properly. i'm gonna keep that one and then this one here is more of a nude toned palette oh no i just broke no i just broke the cardboard oh i wanted to keep that intact that's annoying okay i haven't used this one but um but i will be using that soon and this is like i said more of the nude tone palette but look at that, like that's a duochrome shimmer. Stunning, stunning palette, stunning packaging. Can't wait to use this one. Um, oh, God, I keep doing it the wrong way. But I might throw this out now that I've worked it, which is annoying. All right, the last two palettes are from ColourPop. This is the Rainbow palette. Now, actually, now, now all of these actually come individually. And I did not realize that half of these shades are shades in the Nine Pan Eyeshadow palettes, which I already owned. So half of these all come in the Blue Moon palette, and I was like, oh, now I've got doubles of everything. Half of these come in there, this yellow and this green is in the um, Oh Honey palette, and then this one's in the um, Orange palette. But these glitters I don't use because they're too chunky, and they actually say don't use them around the eyes, which is kind of a waste of space. If you can't use it around your eyes, why is it an eyeshadow palette? Anyway, this um, palette I've actually used in a makeup tutorial, and that was for Pride Month last year. I really like these. I'm going to keep these. These are backups of the Nine Pan Eyeshadow palettes that I threw away in my ColourPop Declutter video. Um, I actually talked about these two palettes, so I don't know why I'm including them now, but I am. This is the So Jaded Catherine Lights ColourPop collaboration. Now, she's done quite a few of these types of collaboration palettes. But this was ColourPop's um, first big palette. And I really love this palette. Like this purple shade, Am Amethyst, is stunning. This glitter, it's very chunky. It's one of those ones that you don't um, put on your face and very softly pressed. But let me, let me swatch it for you because it's a really pretty formula. But look how chunky that is. Like, I mean, it's, it's really pretty, but just flakes off everywhere. So yeah, that's why you don't use those shades around your eyes. This shade here, Ruby, which is a beautiful shimmer, is stunning as well. 
Um, let me just put that here. I know it's going to mix in with the other shades, but you can still see what the shade looks like. I'm going to keep this on. We'll keep that one because I like that palette. And I haven't used it as much as what I should. And guys, we finally reached the end of this video. Oh my God, this video was long. I apologize. But I decluttered how many palettes are cluttered? But guys, I decluttered seven palettes, which is really not enough. I thought I'd declutter more. I decluttered seven and I'm giving away another one to my friend. So that's eight palettes I've got enough. I actually thought I'd declutter more, but that's all right. I will do another declutter video in six months time because I have probably another 10 palettes in the mail coming as we speak. So I need to make room for those. But in saying that, I have decluttered half my ColourPop palettes in other decluttered videos and also my Morphe ones. I think I got rid of about 30 or 40 palettes in the last two or three months. So I think that, so I think I've done a pretty good job. Now guys, as I'm packing these away in no order, I'm just putting them back in the um, drawer. I wanted to quickly do an update um, with what's happening here in Perth WA where I live. Um, so we are officially in our very first lockdown for five days. It got announced um, on the Sunday about 12.30 and we were going into lockdown at 6 p.m. that same night. So we had less than six hours to get everything we needed done. I went to the shops as soon as I went to the shops as soon as it, it um, got announced because I'd done no food shopping. Um, Sunday was my first day off in a long time. So I was actually planning on going to do so I was actually planning on getting some food, but then my friends um, and I decided let's just go out for dinner. So I hadn't actually gone to the shops at all that day, but once it got announced, went straight to the shops and I was in line guys for over three hours. It was crazy. So I finally got out, got as much as I needed. Um, I'm going to the shops now just to get some last minute things. We can go to the shops to get um, food or groceries. We can leave the house for an hour a day in our area. It's not going to the gym or anything like that. But other than that, we have to stay indoors, basically. Um, my housemate can go to work because he's one of the people who's essential. My job is closed. Um, I work in a casino, so I'll find out if I'm going to work on Friday night because I work night shift. The um, lockdown is until Friday 6 p.m. and I work um, and I start work at 8 p.m. Friday night. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, but yeah, if they've got any new cases, then they're going to extend the lockdown. So yeah, guys, it was an interesting experience. We'll see how long the lockdown goes for. Um, but yeah, for the next couple of days, I'm just filming videos. But yeah, guys, that's basically what is happening with my life right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Also, check out my Instagram. I'll link that down below because I post a lot of things on there that I don't film. And I also post a lot of giveaways through my Instagram that I host. So check that out. And until next time, guys, stay safe and I will see you later. Omala, bye.